This is my breech loaded air cannon. Um, a lot of people have been asking how I made it, so I'm going to show you how it's assembled. It's basically just made of PVC pipes and fittings that fit inside of each other. I'm mostly just going to focus on the uh, moving part up here. So basically, it has a one inch barrel, and then uh, it takes one inch uh, preloaded shells. You open it up, take a shell, put it in, and then bring it back and lock it in place. And then you fire, open it up again, inject the shell, and then load a new one. Close it and repeat. And uh, I use a CO2 regulator with compressed CO2 gas so I can constantly be loading gas into it while I'm reloading and stuff. But um, basically the way this moving part works is it's made of three main components. It's two inch pipe, one and one quarter inch pipe, and then one and one quarter inch couplings around that pipe and then the one inch barrel is inside the one and one quarter inch and then all that's held moving I, I'm just gonna call this moving part the bolt it's all held together with this bolt here or it's held into the body with the bolt so remove the bolt take out the bolt sit this here for now uh... so here it is this is pretty much the whole important part um, just one inch barrel and then that goes into the one one quarter inch pipe you can see it's kind of loose but uh, I actually need it's very loose right now I need to add more epoxy and cement but basically just cement it in place so it's as even as, as you can get it I also smoothed it out so when you put it in a shell the uh, projectile will definitely go into the barrel and not like hit the side of it and then also smooth down this here so the shell's going easier but basically one inch pipe inside of the one one quarter inch and then outside of that you have couplers for the one one quarter inch and then I just drilled a hole here to put the bolt in and the reason you have the couplers on here is because the couplers fit very smoothly into the two inch pipe which is the main body of the gun or the uh, firing part of the gun anyway so once you've got the bolt in, I screwed it in place, and then I dremeled out a hole to put the shells, and also to have the bolt lock enclosed, and then open. Uh, I should have separated these two holes. I should have had the bolt part to keep it moving, like had that over here, and then had a separate hole for the uh, uh, feed, I guess, but instead... I put it all together so now this can get all crazy and go wherever it wants. So it's not quite a fast movement. If I try to do it too fast, I'll get like stuck. And anyway. Then on the back here, what you want to do is you want to get a one and one quarter inch coupler and put it back here and then have an O-ring inside of it. Like have a dremel out a little indention into that coupler and put an O-ring there and then lube it up. So when this pulls back, it'll create a seal. Um, I didn't do that. Instead, I had I just tried putting rubber in the back. So when I pull it back, it kind of seals, but it doesn't really. A lot of air escapes through there. So, you know, like I said, the best thing to do would be to put a coupler back here, like cut it in half, put a coupler, and then somehow fit an O-ring in there. So the O-ring fits around this pipe, but then seals between the two. Yeah. Okay, I hope, I hope that makes sense. Um, anyway, after that, I just used bushings to get it down to half inch. I should have used one inch pipe, but instead I had a one inch valve, or half inch valve, so I just decided I was going to use that half inch valve instead of buying another one. Um, but basically, it all goes into this valve, and you can see I jerry-rigged this together using epoxy, wood, and a zip tie. Then it goes into an elbow, jerry rigged stock, and then um, it goes over here. And this is what makes this able to fire. Uh, I'm gonna this. fire quickly. There's no point in having a bolt if you don't have a constant air source. 
or I guess breech load, quick load if you don't have an air source. So um, I use a CO2 regulator with a paintball CO2 tanks and it just hooks into here and feeds gas straight into this chamber. Um, I'm probably going to get a uh, metal chamber to make it safer because you can see this isn't very safe. I just drilled into the side here and uh, just threaded this in and even though it's epoxied uh, this is still very unsafe. You're not really supposed to do that. I don't think it'd be probably better if I did on the cap because also this is close to my face. I would not suggest trying to replicate this design directly. You can see it's pretty jury rigged and uh, not very safe. But I do hope this gives you an idea of how you can use PVC pipe to make um, designs such as this with moving parts. Uh, you know, you should you can just go to the hardware store and see all the different PVC pieces that fit together. For instance, three quarters inch couplings uh, fit into one one quarter inch pipe. So you could make a smaller version of this, but um, just realize it's not going to be able to hold as much pressure and always be careful when you're dealing with high pressure. This cannon, I never fire over 60 PSI just because uh, it's not very safe.